It's easy to dismiss awards shows, but they can also be a really great barometer for the kind of stories that the entertainment industry is prioritizing and validating. And at this year's Emmy Awards, we see the continued validation of the female experience. You were both a bit late, so I went ahead and saved myself. In the best comedy category, we see a healthy mix of female-driven shows, male-driven shows, and shows that kind of have both. And that's exactly how it should be. I'm getting so emotional. The greater diversity we have in the stories that are told and seen as great art, the better our experience of consuming pop culture will be. The shows nominated for Best Drama are similarly varied. There are the softer portrayals of masculinity that we see in This Is Us, and then there's the female rage, which shows up in varying forms in Westworld, in Stranger Things, and of course, in The Handmaid's Tale. Looking at the Emmys overall, we're seeing an emphasis on imperfect, complicated women, and it's damn refreshing. These women can't be summarized in one or two words. They're not just one thing. The women are better than the men. That's right, I said it, I said it. Their identities go far beyond wife and mother, they're flirting with evil and have touches of evil within themselves. They're strong, but also vulnerable. They're confident and simultaneously insecure. They're much more than gorgeous. I know what I'm worth, and I am not apologizing to anyone. The Handmaid's Tale racked up nominations and awards at last year's Emmys, and it got even more nominations this year. Beyond the show's fantastic performances, its overarching themes of sexual violence, female bodily autonomy, autocratic rule, and underground revolution hit eerily close to home in 2018. You made that choice. It wasn't a choice. As someone who covers women's issues, many of which this show highlights, to see this industry not only allow the show to be made, but also laud it, feels significant. I've carefully watched and written about nearly every minute of The Handmaid's Tale, so the best supporting actress in a drama category particularly interests me. Three of the seven nominees are from The Handmaid's Tale, and in those three characters alone, we see a range of imperfect, complicated women. And Dowd is Aunt Lydia, a woman who has wholly aligned herself with the oppressor and yet still manages to surprise viewers who think they know who she is. And there's Alexis Bledel, who plays Emily, a woman who has been through hell and back and sees herself pushed towards uncharacteristic violence as a result. And then Yvonne Strahovski as Serena Joy, a woman who created and upheld a society that now belittles and suppresses her. I gave up everything for you and for the cause. And when you look at this award's sister category, Best Supporting Actress in a Comedy, it also tells us an interesting story about the way the industry is using entertainment to grapple with our current climate. Three women from SNL are nominated in this category. Where Handmaids has sort of created this shared political language to signal resistance among some on the left, SNL has taught us to collectively laugh about our current reality instead of just crying about it.